Today I'd like to show you the web-based broadcast email solution that Association Technology Solutions has implemented for the American Soybean Association. This solution allows individual states, which are IMS uh, chapters, to create groups of email recipients or use predefined groups to send broadcast emails through a web interface. An authorized state representative is only allowed to interact with records in IMIS that are affiliated with that state. The solution allows for the headquarter office to log in, which is what you see here, uh, and, they, and, and or allows for individual chapters to log in individually with their own permissions. Using WYSIWYG Editor, states can author email messages to all their members. It does allow for recipients uh, to use select recipients, author the emails, and deliver those emails. Optionally, we could create activity records for each email that goes out. What I'm going to show you here is I'm going to log in uh, as the administrator uh, for the national office. Oops, spell better. Now once I log in here as the administrator uh, for the national, I can see all the individual states uh, and I can impersonate any of those. Now if I was logging in as a particular state, I would only see the, the records for my state. Um, here uh, we've logged into their portal and we're going to click on the broadcast email tab. Now from here there's really a three step process. First step is to s manage your letters. Um, you can look at existing letters and just select those. You could edit a letter or you can create a new letter. As an example, if I was to uh, edit the test letter and take a look at that letter, you can see we've got a full what you see is what you get editor here. In addition, you can merge in fields um, down below or a list of the different kind of fields that you can merge in. So when I say dear first name, then the first name will be incorporated into that email uh, for every individual. Uh, you can put HTML code in here, you can, you can font, uh, bold, uh, change the color, insert graphics, all that kind of good stuff. You can do it in a design mode or HTML mode and you can preview that. Once you're done, you can name the letter something different. So in this case, I pulled up test letter. I could make some modifications to it, save it as test letter too if I wanted to, and, and finish. So now that I've selected my letter, next thing to do, um, I'll go ahead and select the test letter is to select what people receive this. Now, automatically, we provide for some predetermined groups. That would be perhaps all members, all associate members by each member type, all committee members uh, on a particular committee. Um, these are predefined. Or you can come down into the custom selection and pick different groups of people and name those groups. For example, everybody, and these fields can be uh, modified by ATS. Um, maybe everybody with a specific uh, member type with the last name of Johnson. Uh, maybe everybody with a paid through date. Uh, custom demographics, in this case, people that have between 0 and 99 acres of soybeans is an example. Um, so lots of different uh, criteria here to select people. Um, once you select the, create that criteria, it will tell you how many people are in that group. In this case, I'm going to select one of the predefined groups. I'm going to just send a message to the lifetime member. Now you'll see here there are 16 people in that group, only nine have email. So we're going to go ahead and select that group. That's the second part of this. So now that I've managed my letters, I've selected my group, now I can send an email to those people. Now on the email, a couple things you can do here. We can set the from address. So it could be from info at uh, myorg.org. We can set the subject line. Uh, we can create an activity record we want. We can send a sample email to see what it would look like to a particular email address. And then when we're done, we click hit send email to the group. When we do that, it'll loop through each of the records and it'll send an email message. You know, this does use your server. It is not an email hosted solution. So on groups of, you know, a, a couple hundred, a few hundred, that, that should not be a problem. Um, and uh, this will send the broadcast uh, email out. That's really the solution that we have here for you today to show you. Uh, again, pretty simple process. Uh, let's the chapters only send and see records that they are uh, authorized to see. And uh, as I said, sends out the email and can also um, create activity records if you want.